180 and show that there are no lights on yet anywhere except the uh, very bright lights that used to be closer to me but now have been moved uh, or uh, reactivated somewhere else and uh, just look at how how many and how bright they are and I'm not sure that uh, they are uh, all man-made lights these look like they're on a post but there are clusters around them That looks like it's a post. But you can see they look like uh, even larger than stadium lights. And then there are lights next to them. These ones here, and they are not on any post. And look at all the clusters in the trees of these organisms. Even here, where there are no lights. Just look at the trees, they're full of these uh, organisms. They look like uh, melons hanging off the tree. And this is what they look like when they're lit up, like those round balls under that one. So all these spheres are all in the trees, and you can see them moving. I'm just going to study this so that you can watch them moving. Okay, you can just see them moving, and th these are living things. And just look at them move. And some are glowing and some are not glowing. And in the background you can see that they're moving right here, uh, to the side of it, all around. These are not... Uh, glowing but they're still there and they're, they're, they're moving look on the bottom look at the size of that one right there and look at all the organisms just moving around but as you can see there's enough of them glowing and those are active clusters and these are the things I'm talking about and now somebody is actually breeding them with those big lights and I can't figure out why that would be because uh, these things don't belong here and you know somebody's gestating them and incubating them so that they would grow larger and these things are all over the place every tree around here look at all the activity just look at the activity I won't even show the ones that glow it's more important to notice how many don't glow and all the trees are full, full of them and not just the trees, the air, the water, the, 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 every building, it's just unreal. And then you have these uh, man-made lights that are on a post that are just uh, incubating these things and making them grow even more and even larger. I mean, they're breeding these things. Just look at that. They're breeding those things. And that's not just there. Every tree around here is full of these things. But they're moving those huge lights from place to place. They used to be uh, on the east side of me. And now they're like south of me, southeast. They've moved them over about a kilometer or two southeast from where they were and just look at these organisms and how full the trees are of them just look and I don't know anyone normal who would actually want to produce all these organisms look at them all in the air just look at there between the lights how many are just 
little things moving in the air. That's all these organisms. And when they cluster up, they make large clusters that you can see. And they look like melons in the tree. I'll show you what they look like. Look, they look like that. See all those round orbs in the trees that look green? Just watch. I'll just move this down so that the glare of the ones that are glowing don't get in the way. Just watch the organisms move. These are all living organisms and they're huge. I mean, that's a few kilometers. It's about two kilometers southeast of me and uh, those things are huge. And they're in the air. Uh, just look at that whole area. Just when I get it in the picture. Particularly here, because look at that whole tree is full of those clusters. Look how they move. And that's what's moving in the air. And, and they're transparent, the ones that are in the air. But I'm going to back up just to show that side of the city. Look at the fog that's over it. That's all these organisms in the air. Look, you can't even see them anymore. That's all these organisms in the air. This is no normal fog or natural fog. You can't even see that end of the city. Just look at all the organisms. See how they're moving? Look at all that activity. Now by nightfall, they all start to glow and fly around and stuff. And these are all the clusters that I've been filming for the last two years. It's all these organisms. And someone right here on Earth is breeding them. Okay, because there are lights posted to incubate them. So someone knows about them and they're breeding them right here. And in Toronto. The lights are right on top of them, incubating them. And those lights are on a pole. The lights on the left-hand side, they're on a pole, and the pole is very tall. And you can see that they're on a pole. And look at all the clusters, like right around them, too. But those are right on the pole, those lights. And they're reflectors. And what they're doing is incubating these things here. They're on trees. And that array of lights is portable, so they can take it off and move it someplace else, and then someplace else, and then someplace else, and pretty soon the whole city will be glowing with these kind of clusters. Because these are not man-made lights, these are glowing clusters. And now somebody's doing this on purpose, and he's aware that this is going on. Now, those lights have been on like all day. And look at all that electricity just going to waste. And that, this, that's not the only part of the city that has that. I'm just showing the part that's right next to me. These are all organisms. And these are living organisms. And someone is incubating them and making them grow. And this is what happens when they power up. Okay, that's what happens. They get enough energy to the point where they can make their own power and then they go and breed and make more of themselves and now we have nothing but fog uh, even on clear days like today and it's all just these organisms all over the place in, in the billions and trillions just in the air alone let alone in our water and in, on all the trees and everything else uh, and on everyone else because these organisms start out microscopic. They're not big clusters like that uh, when they start out. All that fine mist there that you can't see because it looks really dim, that's microorganisms. They're just smaller versions of those larger clusters that are round, or those that are glowing right there. But you can see the round ones in the trees. So that mist right there and the fog is just miniature versions of these uh, organisms and they're all in cluster form I've never seen one just by itself because they can be so fine and small uh, smaller than atoms uh, even 
to the point where they're so small you can't see them unless they cluster up in a larger cluster. But just look at the power they have that they produce themselves. That's not a man-made light and neither is this cluster. These are uh, just the organisms themselves producing all that light and all that energy. Now whoever's responsible for this knows very well uh, what they're doing and knows very well that they're breeding these organisms and I can't uh, understand why this is allowed. I mean, what is the purpose of this? Look at all those lights just to breed those organisms. And they're moving them all around the city and breeding them in different places until the organisms <coughs> are able. Look at how strong those lights get. Until the organisms can breed themselves. <coughs> you can't even breed around here anymore because uh, there's so many of those <coughs> tiny little things in the air <coughs> they, just, they just choke you right up and, and it's not a fog caused by pollution or a water vapor from the lake or anything else it's just all these microorganisms in the air creating this entire situation and here we are breeding them ourselves we're even providing uh, incubation lights I mean, uh, this is uh, this has to stop. Whoever is responsible uh, needs to be this needs to be checked out and found out who is responsible and and cut this out because uh, these organisms uh, are not <coughs> healthy for us because I can't even breathe <coughs> because there's so many of them in the air and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are experiencing breathing problems around here. Just look at all those lights. Just mounted on that pole right there. I'm just gonna let you look at that pole and those lights. I'm gonna just tighten it so it doesn't move. Now look how many lights are on that pole. And all those uh, clusters are all around there because they're drawn to the light. You see them? they're right there they're drawn to the light and this is where they start producing more of themselves by powering up from the lights and then being able to glow on their own and and create more of themselves more clusters that can grow and more of those organisms that are like a mist in the air or a fog and this is a biological fog it's like a weapon this is no longer uh, a laughing matter or uh, something to be ignored. This, this is a biological weapon. That's what I consider it because I can't hardly breathe. So that's what's happening. These organisms are going to take up all our oxygen and all our airspace in a mist like that. And they can also cluster and, and we don't know what they can do and what kind of power they can possess because look at how much plasma they're creating just right there making those clusters that, that's their light alone that's not the light coming off the post this is them glowing like that just look just look at that radiance you have the plasma in the middle the white part and then look at all the orbs and then you have the red glow i mean that's that's energy it's a lot of energy right there and all that fine mist all around that looks like fog is living organisms in the air and it's really hard to breathe and look there's an array of lights growing them. I mean, if that's not incubation, I don't know what is. These organisms are being bred. And that's an incubation setup. I've seen enough lab experiments to know. That's incubation. And those 
man-made lights right there are incubating those organisms on that tree. That's just one example of what's going on in this city. Okay, this mist, look at the mist. This is not anything wrong with my camera. Look at the mist, look, even from far away. Okay, this is them. Look, you can't see the other side of the city, and I used to see that with just my eyes. Okay, I, I can't even zoom in on it because I can't see anything because that's how thick the air is with these microorganisms. Okay, and that's what's happening. I mean, look. That look normal on a tree? I mean, just take a look at that. That's gonna be glowing very shortly. Both of them, the bottom and the top. And look at all the organisms in the air, just moving around. That's, that's the fog, it's them. This is not a natural fog created by vapor from the lake and it's not a fog created by air pollution. This is a biochemical organic uh, soup. That's what this is. And these, these are organisms that are being raised and, and bred right here in the city. Look. Okay, so this is like a lab setup and an incub incubator. So look at all the organisms that are in the air moving around there. Right next to those lights. And they're just powering up and reproducing and getting uh, larger and making larger clusters and then the clusters get large like that and then they get like this. Then they power up and glow and then they can reproduce more of themselves because then they don't require the power of the lights anymore they can make the power and, and light and energy themselves okay that's the outcome after okay so you start out with the microorganisms and all these uh, lights that are on that pole okay and those microorganisms that are in the air right there then you get the white clusters this size and then they power up and do this and when they're like that they can move around they can fly all over just like the little ones can and they go and make a home somewhere else right next to your house and reproduce more of themselves and then what you wind up with is a fog like that and a fog like this and a fog like that where you can't even see more than a kilometer no matter where you live in this city okay look you can't see more than a kilometer no matter what direction you know you want to look at look at that okay this is this is what, what the outcome is you can see 500 meters without not even 500 meters at 300 meters you start noticing something is wrong and you don't need a camera or anything just with your uh, naked eyes you can see that something is really wrong I mean look at the air and we can't help but breathe these things in because we need air and we breathe air and our air is uh, just filled with these things look over here more lights okay look at the size of them okay look now these are man-made lights and look at the clusters on top of them right on top of those two lights there's two clusters and there's more around they're powering up right after lights look at this one look at all those clusters right there that are right above it. Look at that one on the top, uh, right up on top of the light. It looks like a hexahedron. <coughs> that's, <coughs> that's the shape. <coughs> now those are clusters right next to the strong lights. You can't even see the pole anymore. How bright the lights are. Look. 
You could see the pole before, but now you can hardly see the pole. They just increased the intensity of the lights. Just look at that. Now back off. Now look how residential that neighborhood is. I'll show you the whole area. Look. Now should we have those kind of lights in a residential area like that? I mean it's not a stadium, it's not a park. I mean people actually live there, look homes uh, all around the place. Look, there's homes, there are more lights over here. Let's see, these are clusters. These down here are clusters, they're starting to grow. And to blow and grow. I don't know the top ones. These top ones, I don't know. They could be either clusters or lights. I can't see no. Uh, I can't see any pole. But this one right next to them here is is a cluster right there. The the smaller one. And this one is a cluster. There's two of them now. Was one before, now there's two. The more it gets dark, the more these things uh, just start to appear and glow. Because more and more organisms start to cluster and they move so fast around the nucleus of the cluster that they create plasma moving so fast through the air. They superheat the air and create plasma. And, and then they don't need the, the lights to power them. They power themselves. And uh, I can't see a pole anywhere here. So these must be clusters. I thought they were uh, man-made lights, but these are large clusters. I see no pole whatsoever holding those. And these down here are, look, right on top of the tree. And these are large trees. Look how tall they are. I mean, they're as tall as the poles, and those poles are at least 50 feet tall, maybe taller. The light poles, the new light poles that they, uh, they put up all over. Right now, even a kilometer is far away because you can't get through the fog. And this is not a natural fog, it's just these organisms. I mean, look, you can't even see uh, Toronto. I'll show you where the CN Tower is supposed to be. Okay. Okay, you're looking at the CN Tower. Smack in the middle of this is supposed to be the CN Tower. And I'm gonna go in and show you, but that's where it is. Here's the bottom of the CN Tower. And that's the restaurant part. You can hardly see it. Okay, you can hardly make it out. Now you should be able to see that on a clear day that's not cloudy or anything. Uh, no problem. You can't even make it out. Even uh, at 500 or more zoom because of this uh, fog that's not even natural fog, it's just these organisms in the air. So whoever is not taking this seriously uh, is making a big and a grave mistake because these things uh, these things are just uh, too much all over. I mean, look at that. That's what they do as night time comes around. They start clustering up and more and more clusters cluster together and then you wind up with things like that. And whether they're around a man-made light or not around a man-made light makes no difference because, because what you should be worried about is look at all of them in the air and all over everything. I mean this is what's, what, what you're breathing in if you live in Toronto or any place else. I think it's all the same all over the whole planet. I mean, you tell me that that's a natural uh, uh, thing to have in the air, all those organisms and, and clusters glowing like that. And why is nobody in the scientific community 
looking into this or in the medical community. I mean, w why is everyone ignoring it and pretending that it doesn't exist? How come? I mean, how can we pretend that these things don't exist? They're lit up like candles all over our city. Look, there's more forming. There was only one little one right there before. Okay, and look how many. There's three now. And this one has gotten even bigger. And there's no light there at all. And look at now on the top. There's even more. There's only one before now. There's three and there's two on, over here. There's four altogether. So, how come this is going on? That's my question. <coughs> and how come all these things are in the air? And, and why are we incubating them? Like, what is the reason we're incubating them and making more? Okay, so, look. Now, that's an apartment building. You can see the balconies. Now, look. There's people... You can see people are living in that place and uh, look right outside their window all these clusters and look at all the entities you can see them on the black part more where the balcony is painted black look at all those white things moving around and, and even on the bottom all around you can see that the air is just filled with those things just look at how many are in the air waiting for those to spark up so I'm just gonna put this like this and let you watch it and you think to yourself what's wrong with this picture why are those man-made lights uh, where you can't even hardly see the pole now that's holding them uh, why are they breeding all these organisms in the trees that are now powering up themselves? I mean, why is this going on? And why is it getting harder to breed in Toronto every day? Look at all the organisms in the air right now next to that cluster. And they're like that all over right here where I am no matter where you are in Toronto just look at the energy these things have okay and we're helping them along look at the fog okay I just want to show there's Toronto skyline look that's the kind of fog these organisms create okay you can barely see the skyline. There are buildings that are 90, 100 stories right there in the back and you can't see them. You can barely see them. You can, can't even see them as a shadow because they just vanish when these organisms are, are in the air, especially at dusk because they start leaving the ground and going for the sky. Okay, just look at that. Okay, most of Toronto just vanishes in this fog. Okay, now, let's see where the CN Tower is. Okay, it's hard to see where the CN Tower is because you can't see it if the fog is so thick. And this is not a natural fog. Okay, all I can show is the little bit of the of the CN Tower structure starting right on top of that building that's in front, in the center. And uh, the, the top part you can't see at all. And there's a huge dome, two domes on top and a huge antenna. And the thing is like uh, about 1800 feet to the tip of the antenna. And, and uh, you can hardly see it. Uh, uh, it's the world's tallest freestanding structure and uh, you know what you can do with that record because you can't even see it 
and I'm only uh, not that far away. It used to be so visible with just the naked eye. Now you can't see it even at uh, I'm at 500x. Here I am at 500x and watch. You can't see anything except those organisms. You can see that they're in the air all over. You can just see them moving in the air. But no CN tower. That's how thick the, 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 the fog is with these organisms. You can't even see the world's tallest freestanding structure because of the organisms. And you can just see that they're all over the, the whole area. Just look at the fog. It just lays on top of everything. And all the way up into the sky. The entire atmosphere is just full of these things. And the fact that uh, we're raising these things just like that, uh, with those lights incubating them, I mean, that, that, that's criminal. That's criminal, making more of these things. Just look at those clusters. Just look at them, they're just powering up. There's just going to be more and more of them and that whole thing's going to be so large that it, you know, it'll be just hundreds of meters when it goes up into the air. And these are alien organisms. I don't care if they were made in a lab or in, a, in outer space. They're not normal and they don't belong on Earth. And somebody is making them. That's the worst part about the whole thing because, look, we're, we're, we're putting lights to incubate them. Now, these are man-made lights surrounded by these organisms because they draw power from light and from electricity. So we're actually incubating these things. 